Hey everyone, it's Sarah Jane with Chic on the Cheap and today I have a bunch of Dollar Tree Christmas DIYs and hacks to share with you. All of these ideas are super easy to do. They also don't take much time either. I cannot wait to share them with you, so let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so for the first project, you'll need some of these plaid tabletop reindeer, and it doesn't matter which color you get. I picked up two of the green ones, and if you like the plaid, by all means, leave them as they are and don't paint them, but I decided to paint the reindeer white using some chalk paint, and you just wanna be really careful at the bottom to make sure you don't get any paint on the wood base, but if you do, it's okay, just wipe it off quickly with a damp paper towel. Okay, so next, I'm a big fan of this red and white twine. You'll see it a few times in this video. I did get it from Dollar Tree. It just instantly makes something look a bit more festive, and I I tied a bow around the neck of one of the reindeer and trimmed off the excess. Once that's done, you'll want to take some hot glue and apply it along the inside of the wood base on one of the reindeer and attach it to the other base like this, making sure the front and the back line up evenly. And in a matter of minutes, you've just made the cutest reindeer napkin holder. And this of course is just one idea on how you can do this. This is completely customizable by using different paint colors and also a different ribbon. So every year Dollar Tree carries these bells and they are all the same size but different textures. And for this DIY, you'll want to get several of the smooth ones and remove the bow and wire garland at the top and you should be left with bells that look like this. Now this step is completely optional, but we are gonna make these bells look a little bit older and more antique by first giving them one coat of black spray paint. We just wanna give them a dark surface. Then once they're dry, you'll want to grab some of this rub and buff. I'll have it linked down in the description box, but if you've never used this stuff, it is awesome and a little bit goes a long way. You just apply a little bit at a time to whatever you want to give an antique look to, and it just elevates the look of these bells and makes them look so much more expensive and gives them a brassy appearance, which is a huge home decor trend right now. And then all you want to do is run some cord or ribbon through your bells. I have them at different lengths and I attach them to my fireplace garland. They can also go on wreaths, windows, or around a doorknob, wherever you want to put them. But I love how these look. Next, I was so excited to see these bells over in the plus section at Dollar Tree. They are $3 a piece and a really nice size. And again, the first step with this bell is to remove the cheap looking stuff at the top and we are looking better already. And be sure to remove the ornament clip at the top before you paint your bell. I'm using the same black spray paint and make sure to get all of the sides covered. And once again, using a little rub and buff, we are going to make this bell look like you went to an antique store and spent a small fortune, but nope, only you know it was from Dollar Tree and I just love taking dollar store products and making them look more expensive so they seamlessly fit in with your existing Christmas decor. Okay, so right now Pottery Barn has this pricey plaid pillow, but this hack will save you so much money. All you need are these plaid placemats from Dollar Tree. These are really nice. It's hard to tell on camera, but they actually have a metallic thread running through them. They are so pretty. You'll also need a hot glue gun, and what you'll want to do is take two of the placemats and hot glue three of the sides together like this, making sure everything lines up evenly and is sealed, and you'll be left with one open side or a pocket like this. And then I'm using the stuffing from an old pillow to fill these up, but I've seen people use plastic bags to fill their pillows, so use whatever you have on hand. And then once you have your pillows filled to your liking, you can seal them up and you have the cutest plaid accent pillows for only a couple of dollars. A plaid pillow just adds a pop of holiday and I've paired these up with some of my favorite Christmas pillows and the placemat pillows are the perfect accents and they are so incredibly easy and cheap to make. Next, Dollar Tree has these plaid doormats this year, and I do think they would be great to use as doormats, especially if you layer them on top of a larger mat. But for this hack, we're actually gonna trim the mat down and place it inside a picture frame. Yes, and of course you want to measure and cut according to the size of your frame. The one we are using is from Walmart. I'll have it linked down in the description box. I love Walmart frames. They are really nice quality and a great value, but how vintage and fun does this look? And because the mat has a nice texture to it, I did remove the glass so you could see the details better. And this hack also works on gift bags. I picked up these gift bags at Walmart, but you can use any gift bags you want from any store. And I just trim them down and pop them inside the frames. And this is a really easy and affordable way to make wall decor or art for your home. 
I do have one more gift bag hack to share with you. And to do it, I'll be using this Dollar Tree tray from the plus section, but you can use any kind of tray, charger, or plate that you already have on hand. And I'm gonna give it a quick coat of white spray paint. This just gives me a nice blank canvas to work with, but if you can find something that is already blank, then I do recommend doing that because you can save a few dollars by not having to buy any spray paint. But once the tray is dry, I'll take it back inside and I already like it better like this. And we're gonna make this look high end with the help of this gift bag. This was $2.99 from Home Goods. I really like the simplicity of the tree on the front. So I cut out that portion of the bag and Mod Podged it to the tray like this. And you'll want to use a good bit of Mod Podge. And if you have a mini iron, definitely use that to help get out any wrinkles. You can also sit something on top of the image once it's almost completely dry to make sure your finished product is wrinkle free. Free. but here's how the tray turned out. I love it. And again, it's another DIY or hack that is completely customizable depending on the gift bag that you're using. Next are my most favorite DIYs in this video. We are gonna make two similar yet different candles. I can't wait for you to see, but first you'll melt down some of these Dollar Tree tall glass candles. And I've talked about this many times in my past videos, but melt the candles in a pot of water on low heat. This is the best way to make sure you have candles that are bubble free and that don't cave in when they cool. And I'm just using wicks from the melted candles. You just fish them out and glue them to the bottom of the container you were using. I grabbed two of these coffee mugs from Dollar Tree. They were a really nice size. And you'll fill both mugs half the way up with melted wax and set them aside to cool. Okay, so next I grabbed this jar candle from Walmart. This candle does smell really good, but I wanted it specifically for the color of the wax. And I put this in a fresh pot of water. You never wanna put a cold jar in hot water. And again, I melted it on low heat and I poured the melted wax into a glass measuring cup and filled up this adorable gingerbread silicone mold that I will have linked down in the description box. But you can use this mold for so many things, chocolates, ice cubes, and little wax gingerbread men like this. And by using a silicone mold, you almost always get a perfect result and it's just so satisfying pulling them out of the mold and look at how cute they are. Now for the next step, I used some chalk paint to bring out his details and ran a toothpick through his middle button. If you find your wax gingerbread man splits apart when you try to do this, you may want to stick him in the microwave for a couple of seconds to soften the wax. And then we are just going to weave the wick through the opening in the gingerbread man that we made with the toothpick. Once the gingerbread man is in place, we are going to add more of the melted wax until it's level with the surface of the gingerbread man. And look at how adorable this candle is. It turned out so perfect. This would make a great gift or keep it as decoration for yourself. And this might just be my most favorite candle I have ever made. Okay, so this other candle is pretty cute too, and this time we'll be using a gingerbread man without his legs because I sliced them off. It sounds cruel, but it was necessary, and I'm just going to sit the little guy in the mug like this and add just a little bit of melted wax. Then you'll want to grab some white wax cubes. You can find these at Dollar Tree or Walmart. I think these look like marshmallows. And here's how the candle looks once the wax is cooled. The gingerbread man is enjoying his hot cocoa spa. And this is another candle you could give as a gift or just enjoy it for yourself. And I just can't get over how well both of these candles turned out. Okay, so next, if you're not into making your own candles, no worries, I have an incredibly easy hack to share with you using Dollar Tree mini candles and these adorable treat bags. And the first thing you'll want to do is cut out the different graphics on one of the bags, and then using a glue stick, apply the different individual graphics to the different mini candles. So for this little jar, I picked out the graphic that says Gingerbread Baking Co. And for the candle that's a little bit bigger, I picked out this handcrafted peppermint candy one and glued that on, making sure everything was nice and smooth. Then to finish things off, I added some red and white twine around the top of the jars, but I think they turned out so incredibly cute. And this is a DIY or hack that anyone can do. And these make great gifts and also great accent pieces. 
And for this final hack, this might be one you've seen before, but I think it's really fun and something I'm definitely doing this year. All you need is a roll of toilet paper and some gift tissue. I found this set for $2.99 at TJ Maxx, and you just take your roll of toilet paper, roll it in the gift tissue, tuck the ends into the roll so everything is nice and tight, and then add a little bit of tissue at the top for some flair. And oh, I just think these are so incredibly cute. Add them to your guest bathroom so that when your guests come over for Christmas, if you're having a holiday party and they need a little more toilet paper, those are gonna be right there and super cute for them to see. All right, guys, so well, that's it for these Dollar Tree Christmas DIYs and hacks. I hope you all enjoyed them. I had so much fun making all of these projects and sharing them with you. Let me know which one was your favorite down in the comment section below. And as always, thank you so much for watching. And until my next one, I'll see you then.